Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. That's right, it is Friday and it is time for another edition of Friday's Finds. We'll, we'll, we'll call this the truck camping edition of Friday's Finds. If you're gonna be doing some truck camping, sitting on the tailgate is not a great way to relax. But if you're truck camping to relax, then you gotta have some kind of chair with you. That brings us to the, the foldable canopy camping chair. Docusvect. Docusvect. So Docusvect, this is the Docusvect camping chair. Ideal for fishing. I need something to cut tape to cut some tape with. Let's let's get this thing out of the box. That way I can speak intelligently about it, if that's even possible for me. No, no, nothing else in the box. Okay. Oh, now we, we got to get this. We gotta get a better shot. Let's go out here in the sunshine. Right handy. Whoa. So these are actually backpack shoulder straps, so easier to carry. These connect, there's Velcro tab, Velcro under there. <laughs> yeah, so if you're worried about sitting out in the sun and you don't want to mess with an umbrella, that'll protect you from a lot of sun, even by, that'll keep you dry too. All right, let's fold her back up.
So there you have it. I think we need to take this out into the wilds of Mother Nature. Seems that word has gotten out that I'm, I'm the guy that does camping mattress videos. <laughs> we got another mattress to look at. This one, hold on, let's change elevation here. That way you can see the unboxing. This one is a pickup bed mattress. Same company that reached out to us with the SUV mattress. So we have a 12 volt inflator. Comes with carrying bag. Two inflatable pillows. We just we need to blow it up and see what it looks like. I'm gonna use my own inflator because I already had it out. Two-way valve here. mattress I, I really this is um, um, bruto. I really like the bottom material it seems to be a little more than just your typical air mattress vinyl it's pretty comfy comfortable a little it's short but of course I'm taller than average now we need to see if it see how it fits in the back of the f-150 I have the truck unloaded of course in case you didn't know I've been hit traveling back and forth between where we are in Collin County to the land to get stuff done so I've kind of been living out of the truck camping on the land because we haven't had a place to park a motorhome that's changing so unloaded the truck for you in this video so you can see the pickup mattress in place. Now I don't want to crawl in here and get on it because I didn't disassemble the bed or the so I, I transport my mobility scooter in the back of the truck and I don't want to deconstruct that. And I'm afraid if I crawl in here I'm gonna puncture this mattress, even though it seems to be a very durable fabric. I don't want to take that risk what i found is this is a short box f-150 it's not the shortest but it's a short box so there's still room at the front as you can see i've got a box up there but it fits nicely the mattress fits in the back of the truck nicely and if you didn't have a whole lot of stuff to unload this would be a great accessory for camping but if you're carrying a bunch of stuff maybe not quite so practical but i like it i like it and i think you will too now that we've seen the pickup mattress in place i gotta reload the truck 
because we gotta go we gotta go back down to the land and do some camping and and do some truck stuff we seem to be stuck in the sand that means we need a we need some some recovery equipment this is the all top four by four accessories they are ideal these sandboards are perfect if you're stuck in the sand they're not very big which kind of makes them convenient Gonna give them a try? Let me get the better now. The all top shackle. Can hold up to 5,000 kilograms. We, we, need, we need help. He stuck. Man, it looks good. Look at that. It even even has the plastic safety ring so that it doesn't damage your tow rope. You'd be happy you have that. All right, a really good shackle and toe strap with you at all times. The little truck that could. Ah. Well, that pretty well brings us to the end of this edition of Friday's Finds. Oh, I, come on, come in here a little closer. Yeah, that's better. Now, now we can have a an intimate conversation. And I got the channeling effect of the canopy. That's hail proof. <laughs> So if you're if you're camping and fishing and a hailstorm's coming, you need one of these chairs. Of course, it'll be really loud. When I was thinking about this Friday's finds off-road recovery video, I had no idea that we were going to end up doing an off-road recovery of the the building that I purchased and the truck that was delivering it. I was just going to pull out and show you the sandboards and the shackle and the toe strap and you got to see it in action how cool is that but boy i was after all that i was wiped out i'm so glad i had a chair with me so remember if you have a pickup it's a good idea to keep a shackle just in case it's a good idea to have a toe strap whether you no matter what vehicle you drive because you never know when you might need a tug so sandboards, shackles, toe straps, chairs. Wow, what a great addition of Friday's finds.
if this is your first visit to Dude RV, hold on. There we go. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I really appreciate you stopping by. And if you enjoy this kind of content, click on that subscribe button. I do this just about every Friday. I'm looking for products for us to explore and play with. I want to give a special shout out of thanks to the vendors who've made all of this video possible. If you're interested in learning more about these products in our off-road recovery video, I will provide you with a link in the card above and in the description below. In the card above and the description below. And those links will take you to the Friday's Finds shopping list on the Dude RV Gear Recommendation Amazon page, where you can shop to your heart's content. And if this is your first visit, I'd be most honored if you would consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. That's why I get to do what I do. I'm most grateful. And for my patrons, I am most grateful. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?